long time ago, before the air became toxic, humans could go outside without needing masks. The air was fresh, clean. But this wasn't the best time, either. Jobs were being lost, and war was becoming more likely every day. Eventually, the climate was beginning to decay. So, in an attempt to be environmentally friendly, while still getting ready for war, world leaders started creating different sources of fuel instead of coal. Turns out, some countries weren't being so safe. Soon after using the stuff, there were reports of toxic fogs forming near the power plants. The effects began after long periods of inhaling the fog, or as we now call it, toxin. First, people would begin to cough, then spots would start appearing on their skin. Finally, they would collapse. World leaders began going back to getting energy from the old ways, but the toxin is still covering the planet. And now, Tommy, we're here. The world was too late to react to the chemicals in the environment, so it's still outside. But not for long. You and Vosie are gonna save the world! <laughs> we're certainly gonna try. <laughs> Once Rosie gets her solution to the toxin, people can go outside again and remember what it is to breathe fresh air. Wait, how will you put the solution in the toxin? Do I need an arm and a needle or something for that? Mm. Well, that's the thing, Tommy. We're not gonna put it into a syringe and, and jab it in like you would. We're gonna load our solution onto a plane and fly it over the fog to disperse it like a crop duster spreading fertilizer. It has to work. Or, like spreading cheese on a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mosey. Hey, kiddo. Can I come with you guys to the lab? Okay, but no playing with needles this time. Yes. Where's you guys there? So? It's passing every trial. It's gonna be close with the measurements, but this is gonna be the last one. I can feel it. Wow. So does that mean that- Excuse me. Just set it out for another session. I'm not doing this with you today, Luke. We are making real progress. I'm sure you are. I mean, you two always make real progress. And so are we. You know, in just our last two sessions, the clouds have thinned so much that the sunshine just beams down on us. It's a miracle. The fact that you're all still breathing is a miracle. If you really want to help, you can go join the scavenging team. Supplies are running low. Thanks, but no thanks, Rosie. We've been through this. If you want to make real change, you need to join us. The more faith, the better. Faith doesn't feed the hungry. It's funny coming from you, Brock. I mean, if you would have joined our fasting schedules, maybe you could feed another belly around here. Whoa. Everything okay here between you two? We're good, Jim. I don't have to use this, okay? Make sure it stays that way. Stay faithful, you two. The ether is coming. Save us all. I mean, some days I think he's smart, but times like this just remind me of how close-minded and plain stupid he can be. Yes, but praying makes him happy, so let him pray. People need hope now more than ever in times like these. Plus, it's also just the four of them, so it's not like it would make much of a difference if they scavenged. Every person counts. Even Luke. Did you ever miss it? Being a scavenger? Not much to miss. It's a lot of death out in the Far Lands, and scavengers are full of themselves. Not in a good way. They're doing what they need to live. No. They're doing what they need to survive. What's the difference? Hey. Hey. We really should be wearing hazmat suits out here, Luke. Isaac, be quiet. Focus on your prayers.
I think hazmat suits would be a good idea. You really think so? Because if you want to wear a hazmat suit, then you'll want to wear a gas mask. It's just like that old story. If you give a mouse a piece of cheese, then it's going to want a glass of wine. <sighs> We've been over this before, Sarah. We need to wear these masks in order to make the connection to the ether. You're right. Sorry for interrupting. It's fine. If we could prioritize our safety, then we would. It's just that if we want to reach the god of air, then we need to follow the code. This is the true act of saving humankind. This, this is, is the, the true, true act of saving, saving humankind. humankind. I need you all now more than ever, especially now that we're down to four. We only have five hours remaining. Thank you, Ether, for putting the winds in our minds. Oh my god. What? What is it? We don't have enough. What do you mean? I thought this would be enough petals, but it's not. This was our last chance. How many more do you need? Not even that much. One more flower would have done it, but they're all gone. Maybe we missed some. We didn't. We looked everywhere. You stay here with Tommy. I'm gonna go and find another plant. There has to be another one. Brock, we already checked the entire corridor of the forest. There's none left. Maybe we missed something. Wait, what's going on? Are you going back outside? That's right, buddy. We just need a little more juice. Contact the airfield. Tell them we need a little more time. I'll be back, Brock. You know I will, buddy. Good luck. Okay, this has gone long enough. Hey man, what are you doing? Sarah has been coughing like this for the past 30 minutes. She needs to go back inside. Isaac, calm down. I'm sure Sarah is fine. We need to just- Come on, Luke, she's not well. Show some consideration. Sarah, can you stand? Okay, that's enough. Sit back down and keep praying. Guys, we're close. I can feel something growing stronger. We're almost establishing a connection here. This is the true act of saving humankind. This is the true act of... <laughs> Remind us again why we're just wearing regular clothes instead of hazmat suits. Or why we're not wearing gas masks. Or why we even have to be outside the prey. How dare you? How can you possibly think that you're bigger than any of this? Ether, the god of air, is our best shot at reversing the effects of the pollution has taken on us. Just imagine it. We'd be able to be out here without our masks and breathe fresh air. Well, maybe if we help Rosie and Brock with the cure, we'd have a real shot. The cure? Those two think that mixing flower petals together will allow humans to breathe out here. You really think that is more likely? I think it's something worth having more faith towards. We're done here. Come on, Sarah. Hey. Wait for me. I know you're out there. I know you can hear me. I know in my heart that your divinity alone can solve all of this. The others don't have nearly as much faith as I do. They think that a cure is the answer, but they're wrong. Give me a sign that you're listening. I am listening. 
I knew it. I knew you would come. Please excuse me for my lack of formality. I am but a humble servant of yours who only wishes to bring peace back to our planet. Of course, I would be willing to do anything you ask of me. I have listened to your prayers for a long time, Luke. Can you save our planet from extinction? I can indeed. I can remove the airborne toxicity with a single gust of wind. I can breathe away the painful ozone into nothing. I can relieve the air of its weight in an instant. But why should I? What? Humans are destructive creatures capable of more harm than you know. Only when you're on the brink of losing everything will you scamper in attempts to find a solution. An effort that will only bring about more destruction. It is an endless cycle. Once the skies have been cleared, how long will it be before you paint it white again? Humans are, as you would refer, cockroaches. Unnecessary. Undying. Disgusting. But you're the ether. The god of air. Surely you must care for humans. We value you most dearly. You have to save us. It's not fair that you have all the power and choose to do nothing with it. I will not watch as you destroy what is left of this world. Humanity has been given too many chances to right their wrongs. The human race needs to be exterminated. But do not fear. The world will do well healing on its own.
Rosie. You found it. We gotta get going. What happened? After I found the flower, I went by that prayer site. You know where they are. No one was there. It's Luke. Something's going on. I think he killed Isaac. What? That makes no sense. I know. I know it sounds crazy, but how soon can we get this to the airstrip? I don't know. Uh, ten, ten minutes? Okay. We're gonna be out of here in no time. Don't worry. What, what's going on? Stay where you are. Tell me. Keep it. Jim, do you have any idea what's going on? Just a drill. Nothing we can't handle. Alright, let me know if you find anything out. No problem. How to do that? It, it, it was the test familiar. I put it in a syringe. Brock showed me how to do it. Is he? Yeah, but he did what he did, knowing that we would be okay. W what do we do now? Surviving is staying alive. It's being able to exist in a state like this. Living is. Living, it's having a life that is worth surviving for. So do you think we're living or surviving? I feel like I'm living and I'm working with you. I feel the same way. We live. 